Hey everybody, this is Kate Ivey from Forward Church, and I'm back this week to give you a little bit of a review about what your kids learned in Kids Church yesterday. This week we started our new unit that's leading up to Easter, so we'll be talking about different things that happened in Jesus' life and ministry up to the cross and his resurrection. So this week we focused on a message called God's Beloved Son, and the story that we focused on was from Matthew 3 about Jesus' baptism. So the point we really wanted to make and hone in here on is that when Jesus was baptized, God announced to the whole rest of the world that he was his beloved son in whom he is well pleased. Or some translations may say, um, who brings me great joy. So we wanted to just hone in on the fact that God announced this to the world and proclaimed his love for his son, Jesus, before he started doing ministry on earth. And then, of course, connect that to how that applies to God's love for us. So your scripture that you can review with your family this week comes from Matthew 3, 17, and it's the one I just mentioned. It says, and behold, a voice came, excuse me, and behold, a voice from the heavens said, this is my beloved son with whom I am well pleased. And again, that was God talking about Jesus after Jesus was baptized by John the Baptist. So our activity ideas this week are a little more thoughtful, a little less hands-on, um, but I do think they'll also give you guys some good points from the word to discuss and really just reflect on how this applies to you as well. So the first activity says to do a scripture scavenger hunt and find at least three Bible verses that talk about God's love for you. Then you can read them and discuss them as a family. So what, is, what does the word say about God loving you? And then how does that apply to you? You can even discuss how it makes you feel as you're reading those verses too. And then what our reactions to those are and how we should, of course, love others as well, like Jesus and God love us. The second activity idea is to read 1 Corinthians 13, 4 through 8 aloud. And when you see the word love, because of course this is our famous love chapter or section in the word of God. But when you see the word love, you're going to read the word God instead. Because this gives us a good picture of who God is and how he shows love. So you would read it something like this. God is patient. God is kind. And so on. The third activity idea is to get a sheet of paper and draw a big heart in the middle of it. You could draw it, you could paint it, do it with stickers, you know, however creatively you would like to do that. Then around the heart, draw the faces or write the names of people in your life that love you like God does. So these are people whose love you don't have to earn. And again, that's the point we wanted to make is Jesus didn't have to earn God's love before he ever did anything for God. God said, hey, this is my beloved son. I'm well pleased with him. Okay, so God loves Jesus because he's his son, and these people love you just because they do. And then here are your family discussion questions for this week. The first one is, how does it make you feel to know that God loves you and you are pleasing to him, not because of anything you've done? Let that one really sink in and think about that for a while before you answer. Um, cause that one will really get to your heart and I hope get to your kids' heart, hearts, excuse me, your kids' hearts this week. The second one is how does it make you feel to know that you can't earn God's love, but instead he freely gives it to you. So how does that make you feel about God? How does that make you feel about yourself? Cause it should influence how we feel about ourselves as well. And then the third question is why do you think God announced that Jesus was his beloved son and he was well pleased with him before he started his ministry on earth. So before he started doing miracles and healing people and things like that. I hope you guys have a great week. I hope this gives you a lot of good things to think about, to meditate on, reflect on. And I'll see you next week.